oddly terrifying videos. Here we go. Oh my god. Back back up, man. Back up. Go away. Gee. Woo. Wow. It's still ah! it's still staring. No, no thanks. I'm gonna have nightmares about that tonight. Thanks, man. If I see this outside my window tonight, man, I'm gonna lose it. It's a Japanese baseball mascot. That ain't no mascot, that's a monster. Weren't you in the movie Monsters, Inc.? Sully, is that you? Bro, you look like you just took all the drugs. I bet you I'm about to shove a grenade in your helmet and blow you up, man. Uh, anyway. But yeah, today we're gonna be looking at some creepy videos. If you enjoy these videos, then go ahead and smack that like button. I post new ones every day at 3 p.m. Pacific, so make sure you come on back tomorrow. And please just do it now, pause the video, and follow me on Instagram at DangMattSmith, or just click that first link in the description below. And let's go! You know this creature once existed. What, you? And you're glad it's extinct. <laughs> For now. Ew. This is the Titan Boa. Scientists okay. say that if the Earth's temperature rises, it's possible that the Titan Boa could come back. Oh my god. This gosh. is the biggest snake to ever exist at 42.7 feet, weighing in at 1.25 tons wow. or 2,500 pounds. It's about 60 million years old. The Titan Boa was found in South America. It ate very little, but when it did, it ate crocodiles, Jeez. boa constrictors, cobras, and pythons. Wow. The Titan Boa could crush its prey with a jaw force of 400 pounds per square inch. Ugh. And let's not forget, it could also wrap its body around you and constrict you into mush. Oh, mush, not mush. I'm tired of getting the dang close up of your dang teeth. Like, girl, what is this? Why am I looking at your mouth right now? And just in this vicinity of your face, you got not one, not two, not three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rings. When she get older, her face is just going like explode. This is how I scare my neighbors with my voice. Don't do it. gonna be haunting me in the stairwell not today if i was walking in the stairwell and i hear you singing that it's on site girl i'm running up the stairs i'm gonna find you seriously what's she gonna do when she's singing and then she hears somebody like coming up the stairs trying to get her you gonna keep singing oh, yeah i don't think so i swear i'm gonna find you i'm gonna catch you and i'm snap your neck first games you should never play part two the mailbox game if you play this game correctly, you will have the best life you could imagine. Start at any time. Go to a mailbox and focus on it for 6 seconds. Don't look away and don't blink. Now place a blank piece of paper on the ground. Get something sharp and let one small drop of your blood fall on the paper. Wait until the paper is dry, fold it, put it in an envelope and then inside the mailbox. Now go home without looking back. After 3 days, go back to the mailbox. If it's empty, walk away. Don't look back and never play this game again. But if there is a letter, take it somewhere safe and read it. It will tell you your fortune, the best fortune you could imagine. And after you're done reading, burn the letter. May take a few days or weeks until what you read becomes real. Enjoy it as much as you can. It will always be true until it's not anymore. What? What do you mean it'll always be true until it's not anymore? You want me to put some of my blood on a dang piece of paper, put it in an envelope, and then put it in the mailbox? You know how freaked out the mailman's gonna be? He's gonna be like, what the heck? Hello, police? Uh, yeah, uh, we've got another one. Skinwalker disguising as my dog. He just smiled. <gasps> oh! No, he didn't. Look at that crooked smile. Oh, your dog is skinwalker for sure. Why in the heck would a skinwalker want to be a dog, though? Wouldn't you be better off just being a skinwalker? <laughs> and this dog doing that creepy smile at 9.22 a.m. It's too early for this, my boy. You ain't gonna be creeping me out up in the morning. I got meetings. I got stuff to do, man. I'm, I can't be dealing with a haunted dog. 
I bet you've never heard of an oubliette. No, I haven't. The name came from a French term that is meant to forget. It was a specialized type of dungeon. The only entrance was a trap door at the very top. And it was deep enough so whoever was inside the oubliette could not reach the door. It also was incredibly narrow. So whoever was inside couldn't sit down. They couldn't even kneel without their knees pressing against the wall. Uh. Not to mention, it wasn't uncommon for someone to break bones when they were thrown into the oubliette. Dang. So imagine breaking your leg and having no way to support yourself. So your full weight is constantly leaning on that broken bone. So you're forced to just stand there. Only thing you could do was raise your head to look up, but there was no way to reach the exit. Now some oubliettes were a little more cruel than others. Some were placed in certain parts of the castle so that whoever was trapped inside the oubliette had to listen to those who were hustling and bustling around above them. They also could smell the food that was being cooked. And the whole time they're starving in the oubliette. So they'd be forced to stand there for days to weeks until they starved. And once they finally perished, their body was left to be devoured by vermin. So imagine this, you're thrown into an oubliette and there's already piles of bones beneath your feet because they never cleaned them out. Some also had spikes in the bottom. What? Others had jagged rocks. It's definitely a very dehumanizing way to go. Gee, girl, yeah, thanks for the bedtime story. I swear, girl, you need to knock it off. You, you feel good about yourself? You feel good telling me about the oubliette? I ought to throw you down the oubliette. Okay, no, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Shh, it's okay, I wouldn't do that. That's just terrible, man, like getting thrown down a narrow hole. Mm-mm man not today you guys better abide by the law before like the government uh, tries to initiate the oubliette what would you do i'd move to mexico are you are you kidding there's nobody on the other side look at that heck no i'm gone man i'm gone i'm out what? Nope. You best believe I'm out, man. I don't know what took them so long. Like, if you see a handle jiggling and there's clearly nobody on the other side, yeah, it's time to get out, my boy. And you got the nightstand drawer opening and closing by itself. Like, bro, how many signs do you need to let you know that uh, your house is haunted? It's time to go, man. You gotta grab the car keys and get the heck up on out of there. This is how you spot a skinwalker. And this is how you spot a better shirt. Uh, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. On May 6th of 2020, a YouTube channel by the name Gemini Home Entertainment uploaded a survival video. And it was pretty basic until it started to demonstrate the dangers of nature, oh. calling one specifically an auditory hallucination. You can see someone camping when all of a sudden they begin recording what seems like a man calling out for help. But if you take a closer look, there's definitely something off about this guy. Heck no. Bro, that better not be real. No thanks. To this, the video says, don't approach it. If you hear them, you have already heard you. Yeah, seriously. Don't approach it. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna investigate. What do you think I am? White? <laughs> yeah, I got him. Ew! Oh my gosh. Girl, I know your money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds, but I'ma need you to get your butt off my good carpet. Why are you bending like that? How do you get your leg all the way to touch the ground when you turn crooked and sideways and diagonal at the same time? If I came home and I see this, man, I bet you I'm, I'm, I'm grabbing my shotgun. I'm grabbing the shotgun and a grenade and I'ma shoot and toss the grenade and I'ma blow everybody up. That's just terrifying. What are you supposed to be anyway? Are, are you a skinwalker? Is that what's going on? Girl, you know, get out. Here. Is this your way of flirting with me? If it is, it's weird. But you know what? We can still go out on a date, all right? Can I show you a scary video? Can you show me some smaller glasses? <laughs> the jump scare in this video got me, and that's why I want to show it to you. So, slight trigger warning. All right. It's a really old Japanese ghost video, so I really don't have any information on it. So, I'm just going to show it to you. Here it Let's is. See it. <gasps> oh, why'd I get scared? 
Oh, heck no. Hey, okay. Bro. Hey. Oh my gosh. Comment down below what you say. All right, man. Behind you, dummy. Turn your butt around. Ain't nothing in there. Oh my gosh, you, you're done. Oh, ain't nothing in there. What in the heck is that back there? Mm -mm. Man, that's his ex-girlfriend. She's come back. She's violated the restraining order. She's just wondering if y'all can get back together, that's all. Or she wants to suck your soul. Same thing, am I right? Making your fears less scary. Okay, well, what do we got? Do, bu do bugs or I will cry. Dang. Aww, the bugs look happy. Ugh, ugh. Okay, that did not make it less scary. If anything, that's scarier. What is that? What kind of creepy looking moth? Mm -mm, man, I will spray you with rage so quick. And you, y'all look like some dang aliens. I know you some extraterrestrials, man. You ain't gonna fool me, not today, Satan. But hey, could have been worse. But yeah, go ahead, click on the screen and watch another one. Yeah, man.